This is huge. The King Cobra. The biggest venomous snake in the world is right there. Holy mackerel, this is huge. Okay, he's coming back on me. Whoa! I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, please move! Up close and personal. Oh, a massive snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. I'm at a forested hill quite well known by local naturalists. And from what I've heard, this place is home to a population of king cobras. So I might need a new tool. I always carry around my trusty snake hook. It's a perfect size for many different snakes, pretty much from the small ones to the medium size. But actually out here, I'm realizing I haven't quite got the right snake hook. So I'm having to improvise. I've got this, but it's actually a paint roller. I'm gonna give this to Susie so she's have that in the background. And if we come across a big snake like a king cobra, this will be handy. King cobras are the largest venomous snake in the world, growing up to four meters. Its venom glands are so large, it's capable of injecting half a gram of venom. And it's so toxic, it's capable of bringing down an elephant. I gotta be prepared in case we come across one. I'm in primary rainforest. I'm on a path here. If any snakes need to get from one side to the other, they have to cross this path. So I'm hoping that I'm at the right place at the right time when a big king cobra decides to cross over. Oh, okay, look at this. What a cool little find for the morning. So I'm using these trails up and down here to see if I can find any animals that might be crossing along because it's actually easier to spot the animals that cross because here there's no leaf litter. But look here, wow, look at that. A bunch of termites, a whole group of termites. But if you look closely, they've got all these little bits of vegetation and dirt which they're actually moving towards another area. And I reckon that these termites are specifically the arboreal ones. They live up in the trees. And because they're on the ground here, they're moving along trying to find another place where they might want to live. Animals are always like that. They always find the easiest way to move across their environment. And in this case, they're using this, this little tree root to navigate through their environment. I reckon that their original home where they're moving from is probably way down there. They're moving along here and finding the easiest route to cross this path. This is huge, the King Cobra. Susie, I need, I need the other snake hook. Oh my, wow, this is a big King Cobra. This is huge. Oh, this is intimidating, see the waves popping out. Oh, man. Okay, this is the King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world is crossing this path. He's extremely angry. I'm trying to get this snake back onto the road. It was crossing from that way over there. Wow, this is so scary. Come back this way. Come back this way. Look at the way it's backing up this snake. I just want the tail. Oh, wow. Scary. Look at the size of that mouth. It's huge. Mate, come back down here. Come back down. Come back down. Come back down. It's so hard to get this snake into a position I can work with it right now. Because you see that tail right by that head. If I can just slightly bring that down, it's in that brush. The biggest venomous snake in the world is right there, face to face. Highly intimidating. Look at the size of that head. You can hear puffing in and out. That is a big bodied snake as well, huge. Come down, come down. It's very hard to see the snake. Careful. 
Okay, I've got the snake by the tail. Okay, we're going to turn around. Holy mackerel, this is huge. This is huge. This is the King Cobra, wow. I cannot believe for my luck. I've heard that there's loads of King Cobras in this forest, but this really is the king. The biggest venomous snake in the world. It really is the top predator out here. Let's get my snake hook back because the thing is, this snake can get back up on himself really quickly. You see that length? You see that? Facing me right now. Wow. Scary, scary snake. Really intimidating. There's no other snake that you can really intimidate you because it's not scared of me at all. It's just facing me and saying, go away. Huge cheeks. The amount of venom that this snake would possess would be massive. You definitely don't want to get bitten by it. I'm telling you that you could easily die. I mean, absolutely almost guaranteed gonna die because the amount of venom you'd be injected would be horrendous. Wow, it almost looks like the thickness of a python. Okay, he's coming back on me. That is in yeah, it's intimidating. Look at the, that hood. That is why it's known as the king cobra. Gets up on, on it himself, flattens its neck out and says, wow, I am big, I'm aggressive. Do not come anywhere near me. Look at that, look at that. Me a little bit of movement on my hand and he's straight onto it, straight onto it. He's chasing. Stop there, mate. Stop there. Intimidating. Wow. Okay, I've just let go of that. Of that. that is incredible. I want to get the GoPro because I want to get some close ups. GoPro. Okay, look at that. Look at the length of that snake. Huge, highly intimidating snake. The way just chasing me is just scary. There's not many snakes would have the balls to do anything like that. And what scares me more is that this snake goes backwards or forwards. Because this snake is just glorious. It's actually got the reputation of being highly aggressive and dangerous and goes out to there to kill people. But look at that, I've got this snake by the tail and he's not trying to bite me, he absolutely could. Look at that way, they exhale, they puff out, and that just gives it a warning sign. I think we've got enough, I don't really feel like I can get Okay, there you are, there you are, that's the King Cobra start. I hope I'm getting this on the GoPro. That is awesome, that is awesome. Look at that, majestic, majestic King Cobra. That mouth agape was highly scary. Whoa! Hey. It's nothing more intimidating than that. A big snake that's highly venomous coming back towards you with its mouth agape. Man, that is just crazy. This is actually quite a light coloured king cobra. They come in all sorts of different colours and shapes and forms. This is quite thick bodied, lighter yellow form. And they have these like plastrons along their body. Chevrons actually. This one doesn't have as much patterning as some king cobras you might see. And the venom, not only is it a lot of it, and it's toxic, but it's also a cocktail. You've got hemotoxic and neurotoxic venom gonna go in, it's crazy. Look at that, look at the way he's puffing out whilst that hood is being flattened out. Okay, I'm putting, he's going back. Okay, I'm putting the king, uh, this back. There we go. Okay. Okay, hopefully I managed to get the end of the hood there. Um, wow. Do you see that? I don't know how much footage you've got of this snake. I could probably stay here for a bit longer, um, but I don't want to push my luck much further. Woo! King Cobra makes me sweat like mad. Crazy. Oh, just listen to that. Listen to that sound. Such an alert snake. Tell you what, just working with a snake like this, I'm learning, learning a lot. Every time I work with a new snake, the King Cobra, they're new to me. I haven't worked, this is the second King Cobra I've worked with. I'm learning about their individual behaviours. And look at that, face to face with it right now. Very alert snake. They're not like Taipans, they're not like super speedy, you won't bite anything. They're just very alert and they know that they're powerful and strong. So, at the end of the day, 
This snake knows there's not much things would actually take it on, really. And it doesn't need to actually bite you. It's more of a bluff coming towards you. Certainly if my leg was got too close, certainly he would have a go at me. King Cobra. I'm gonna let this guy go. I felt like I've had enough time with him. Okay, guys. Oh, wow, okay, this is, let's just appreciate this moment. Well, that's it. I've let go of the tail. The snake is still there. The snake is still there. He's saying, this is my territory. Just go away. So I might just back off and do exactly what this King Cobra does and deserves. The King Cobra deserves the absolute respect it actually gets in many parts of the world. Really don't mess with a snake like this. It really is the king. It's the top predator, it's the apex predator. It's so important in this ecosystem, this snake. Eating other snakes, managing the populations, rodents. It really is a majestic creature. It deserves all the respect it can. Woo, the king cobra, yes. Off you go, mate. <sighs> The King Cobra, such prowess. He truly is the mightiest of all serpents. There's no mistaking who's in charge of this forest.